Artificial intelligence predicts that sodium ion batteries will be the most dominant form of batteries worldwide, as in you know, most electric cars will have them within the next 10 years. But why is this? I mean, why is sodium going to be the go-to battery and take over lithium sales? Well, there could be one key reason. Cadle, the biggest battery company in the world, have revealed their new version two sodium ion battery. It's significantly better than version one. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. I did a video three years ago on sodium ion batteries changing the world and why they would change the world. At that time, lithium was extremely expensive. In fact, the price of lithium has come down more than 70% since that video, meaning that sodium no longer has a huge advantage when it comes to the cost to manufacture, you know, the materials costs that go into the batteries. But sodium batteries do have some other big advantages. Sodium ion batteries do have a disadvantage though. The energy density of sodium ion batteries is relatively, or it was, keyword was relatively low. Cadle's new battery has been revealed by Chief Scientist Wu Kai at the World Young Scientists Summit. The key difference with the second generation sodium ion battery, says Car News China, is that it can be discharged normally in extremely low temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. Now, intriguingly, minus 40 degrees Celsius is the point in which Celsius and Fahrenheit actually are the same. So this is minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit and morning, minus 40 degrees Celsius. Furthermore, the batteries have better safety performance and low temperature resistance while maintaining energy density. Now, that's the big challenge here. Energy density of sodium ion batteries is a bit lower than even lithium ion phosphate. But because sodium ion batteries have only been around for a few years, artificial intelligence, basically every single platform of AI there is, whether that's from Bing, Microsoft, or ChatGPT or anyone else, believes that sodium batteries, the energy, densi the energy density in those batteries will actually climb over the next few years to be on par with advanced lithium ion phosphate. Currently, the official energy density of the new sodium ion battery has not been reported, but Cadel aims to exceed 200 watt hours per kilogram, which would mean it would be at around the current energy density of Cadel's best lithium ion phosphate batteries, which is 205 watt hours per kilogram. That's the Shenzhen Plus battery. All of these batteries are meant to be launched in 2025. Mass production won't start until the end of 2026 or 2027. But these, these batteries will probably come into EVs sooner than that, because we know that Cadle will be using, and already do in cars now, today, they're already around, sodium ion batteries in a hybrid battery with lithium ion phosphate batteries. Now combining lithium ion phosphate batteries with sodium means that the batteries have some improvements over just lithium or just sodium by itself. So I made a video on that at the advantages of those batteries. I'll put a link in the description that explains really the difference between sodium batteries by themselves versus this new hybrid battery. The science behind sodium ion batteries is similar to that of lithium ion, says Car News China, with them storing energy for the movement of ions between positive and negative electrodes. But really, ultimately, sodium batteries are best used today for energy storage. They're used in huge energy storage projects especially in cold countries where lithium ion phosphate batteries are not able to handle the cold as well as sodium. Currently, sodium ion batteries have better characteristics in terms of safety and low temperature resistance in extreme temperatures. So in theory, it would be a, probably an improvement for cars in places like northern parts of Russia, northern parts of Europe, even places like potentially Alaska to use sodium ion batteries. There should also be a cost advantage. This should, should be in the operative word. Now, if the price of lithium does increase again, as many experts predict it will, then that's when sodium ion batteries will be cheaper. In fact, when lithium was more expensive, 
it was predicted by the biggest battery companies in the world that sodium ion batteries would be 30% cheaper. But until they're mass manufactured at the same levels, that won't happen. That may take around five years. Early this year, BYD said the development of BYD's sodium ion batteries has entered the second stage, which is reducing costs. And its BOM or bill of materials cost is expected to be similar to lithium ion phosphate batteries next year in 2025. It will be less than 70% of lithium ion phosphate batteries though in the long term. So that means the cost will be similar for BYD. In other words, BYD and Cadle have both predicted that within about five years, it will be around 30% cheaper to manufacture sodium batteries versus lithium ion phosphate. And as you can see, a 30% cost reduction in the battery is enormous. It's unquestionably a game changer. Cadle demonstrated the first generation sodium ion battery back in 2021. So it's taken them around three years to reveal their version two. Now that battery obviously attracted widespread media attention because of media attention because of its high energy density and its fast charging ability and also its excellent thermal stability. At the time, Cadle's CEO said their next generation sodium batteries would have an energy density of over 200 watt hours per kilogram. Do these batteries have that energy density? Is it over 200 watt hours per kilogram? I don't think so. Otherwise, we'd probably know about it, but they will in the future. I imagine version three will hit those numbers. So do EVs have sodium ion batteries today? Well, they do. There's actually a few different models of car, including Cherry EVs and JAC EVs that use sodium ion batteries. Um, Ada and Yardia use sodium batteries in their scooters as well. So sodium batteries are definitely growing in terms of their usage. They're used more so today for battery energy storage. So which EVs will they come to first in markets in the West, for example? Well, obviously they'll be in smaller vehicles that don't need as much range. So the cheaper version of cars, like the base model version, today it's lithium ion phosphate. In the future, the base model version of say a Tesla Model Y or a, an Xpeng G6 or some sort of similar car like that would use a sodium ion battery. And therefore the price of that vehicle or that version may be about 15% cheaper than other versions. That's what will happen first. In January, 2024, BYD started construction of its own sodium ion battery factory with an annual production capacity of 30 gigawatt hours. Apparently, this will produce batteries with an energy density of 105 watt hours per kilogram, but that energy density would increase to 130 watt hours per kilogram. Now, if that is the case, then Cadle's energy density of 200 watt hours per kilogram would mean their batteries would be significantly better. But maybe what will happen is the automotive industry would use Cadle's batteries for EVs and energy storage projects would use BYD's batteries for their mega battery packs that would back up the grid and store your excess solar uh, during periods when it's needed. So that's where we're at with sodium ion batteries today. Like I said, many experts believe that sodium ion batteries, in fact, I do have information I've shared with some engineers recently, they predict that sodium ion batteries will come down in cost enormously, down to around $10 per kilowatt hour. That would mean they would be around 80% cheaper than today's batteries. That's what some experts are privately secretly within the industry saying will happen within 10 years. If that does happen, it's game over for oil. I mean, oil will be only used where it's absolutely necessary when it comes to any other use cases for fossil fuels, batteries will take over in almost every instance. Thanks for watching.